Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do the paint chat today. Guess what we're working on? You guessed it. Celts, warriors. We're gonna try to finish them up. At least this batch. And cheers. Okay. Start doing some of the shoes. We got a lot of these guys are complete. We just need to do the finishing touches and then we will be done. So I think I'm gonna go in and see like the belts, little daggers, you know, boots, shoes. So we're definitely gonna go in with um, some red leather, right? Some red leather, leather and lace. Right, let's see what kind of fluidity we have on the product today. A little gloopy. For some reason, I ended up with two, two of these. Seems kind of, uh, yeah, it's trying to smooth out. It's almost like it sat in a warehouse for too long. You gotta be really careful. I think I've had really good experience with Amazon, but there was a local hobby shop down in Columbus I was going to. I think some of his stock was on the old side. You know? I'm gonna go in with my regiment brush and see. That's gonna work really nice. It seems to like be a good consistency. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's just right. So see what I'm doing here. I am going to get that boot going on. I hope everybody's projects are doing well. exposures too guys so we get some good color representation I'm gonna just try the camera here just a little bit guys over a little bit more chance to work on these during the week I was just too busy with work but that's a good thing that's a good thing so there we have it turn my hat around here um, I think I'm going to detail brush though. Um, the straighter. Get her straightened out. Let me go back on the shot a little bit. I think I'm gonna have better luck getting this finer details like the belts with this brush. The other thing I wanted to do also guys was I want to get this just a little thinner. little trick I'm gonna do guys is it seemed like this was a little on the clumpy side so I'm gonna grab this one since I have two pots of this I'm gonna go ahead 
take your cloth, just uh, take the cap off. I'm gonna go with some of my clean one. I'm gonna fill this dropper up. I'm just gonna go in. Actually, see if I can just get that in the camera shot here. Kind of dilute this paint down some. See if we can salvage it. Otherwise, if it seems like the next time or two that I use it, it's all clumpy. I'm gonna have to just pitch it. It happens sometimes, guys. Just kind of keep track of where, what vendor, what uh, whoever you're getting this paint from. Uh, you know, take them off your list. Take them off your list. Don't get paint from them anymore. It's like working at a restaurant. You really gotta make sure you're rotating your stock. and smooth. We're going in with a medium brown wash. That'll darken it some. Getting all those little nooks and crannies. Help bring out the highlights. That's why some of these miniatures I like to, as much as I can, especially like my Napoleonics, um, doing the white, the white base coat. got a little too thin. Yeah, I'll go back in with oh my other. shit show. I really need to have like a uh, sell by date or something on these paints. I think that's a big factor. And a lot of these paints. Post in the comments below, guys. I know there's a Reaper makes a, a paint that has the dropper bottles like um, Vallejo. And a lot of guys seem to like that. I thought about trying them out. I know I'm not a huge fan of the Vallejo metallics. They seem to be very like thickish, for a better word, on the thick side. You typically have to water them down. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of pigment in their metallics. But I do like the dropper bottle style, even though, you know, I have to have that because uh, you see how horrible I am at putting out too much paint on the palette. Right. And I'm gonna do a scabbard in this color. Again, with the with the number of miniatures we're, we're doing, we kind of just want to stick with a, a good tabletop standard. Get 
get too crazy with the detail. tunic too I need to put him aside we need to get that tunic painted some some color probably some shade of light brown or something Not too terrible um, some of these guys already have their boots done kind of did a couple different colors just so I can ma you know mix it up a little bit saying see what I'm saying no I don't see what you're saying well we tell each other what we're saying that's what I'm saying so here we go this guy he's gotten a wash I did like a test wash on him kind of see how things were going along with the color selection and how well the wash uh, brought out the details worked really well. I'm happy with it. Yes. Yes. Going in for that belt. So, I'll the belt around on this other side. Out of work. <clears throat> Have another guy here. Get these boots done. These guys based. So I'm getting a little low on my bases. I'm gonna have to go out to the shop and my other shop and do some cutting. I got this morning and we had a rainstorm. It's really humid outside today. Once the grass dried, I had to do mow half of my three acre lawn with my big giant mower. Probably something to do around the homestead. Asian pears are coming in. Apples are almost done in my orchard. Peach trees not really producing much. We're going to put in some more peach trees. But um, we took my daughter up to school. There's a beautiful orchard there. It has amazing peaches. And we bought three big bags of peaches, and my wife's made peach pie, and she's frozen or has frozen some of the peaches, and she's canned some of the peaches. So. That's always good. Cucumbers are basically done. Squash and um, zucchini is basically done. We got a huge yield this year. The plant started to get a bad case of powdery mildew. But our beans are still coming on hard. Onions. Um, what else? Tomatoes. So she's been doing a lot of roasted uh, roasted tomato marinara sauce. She's been canning it and freezing it. So we'll have that for the winter. For spaghetti sauces and pasta sauces. So we got that going for us. That's a cool dude. I like this fig. I'm going to go on a shot a little bit here. Burp, burp, burp. 
This guy's a cool figure right here. I like him. He's like, yeah. So, just moving right on along here, guys. Cranking them out. Cranking them out. We call it assembly line painting. Just like a soul. I'll go ahead and do his guy scabbard. And I can come in and it's got like some little, you can see some little raised highlights. I can come in with another color and just kind of pick those when I do my final detailing after I do my wash. And that's the kind of how I roll with that. I say yes. Like a sir. Blam. I have no idea what I'm doing with this up here yet, guys. I'm gonna have to just figure that out. Maybe just do like a, maybe like a bronze, an antique bronze or something. side camera. And causing a little starry effects because I got that wide angle lens. Look. I think I'll paint his belt. Piece of it anyway. So, did you ever see so many shoes? Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. sit back and plan I'm gonna do a little bit of bronze on this little scabbards of their um, 
on their little daggers, you know. be a toughie. Again, using my my hands up against the table, like a tripod, just put a tiny bit of paint on the tip of the brush. When you're doing these little fine details, don't don't overload your brush. This guy's cool too. I did do a test wash on him and you can kind of see how you can see how it brings out the definition of his muscles. I can just come back in with a little of my flesh and just do the raised edges to highlight uh, this dude's muscles because he's a freaking wild man. <laughs> he's coming out of the freaking woods. Yeah, these Romans. But the Romans, their advantage was that they were disciplined and they fought as a unit. These guys tend to just run at you and hack and slash. And that isn't always the best uh, tactic. Now, when the Gauls attacked the Romans in the forest, the Germanic tribe, actually, they just, uh, they surprised him in such a tight quarters in the forest, the Romans couldn't use their uh, open battlefield tactics effectively, obviously. In really tight, <clears throat> tight quarters, tight conditions, it's really difficult to uh, react. And, you know, the British had the same problems when they were fighting in the Americas with the uh, hit and run guerrilla tactics that the colonists and the Indians used. Um, and uh, the British had to adapt their tactics. Uh, actually didn't react quick enough, um, which is why they were losing. Watch a little Empire Strikes Back on the smart TV down here today. Always a good thing to have on. guys look like they have like little elfling shoes on, you know. Made by the elves. You get these guys finished up and based. Kind of ways to go yet. Probably gonna get started on my 15 millimeter American War of Independence, and um, some more Flames of War stuff. And then uh, at some point down the road, we're gonna have to look at doing some terrain tutorials. I need to make some uh, desert sand hills, which I've got the foam cut for them. I just haven't finished them up yet. 
do some more trees. I got a friend coming over, a subscriber who's gonna, we're gonna, at least at this point, the word is we're gonna play some bolt action. So there may be bolt action coming up in my future, guys. The nice thing about that is kind of skirmish style, platoon level, uh, so I don't have to make a huge investment in figs on that to have a cool, some little uh, army groups. All right, we're almost done with the shoes. here. This is my last set of shoes for this segment. And then we'll hone in on details. I'm going to break out the bronze, I think, for the next paint and chat segment coming up. And we will break out the bronze and you want to go into some bronze highlights like this guy, you know, like in his dagger sheath. You know, also you got to consider some of these weapons they've picked up, especially some of the daggers and stuff they picked up off of dead Roman citizens, dead, you know, settlers, Roman settlers, raids, um, off of dead bodies of Ger uh, German, Roman soldiers. Okay guys, that's it for the shoes. We'll come back in next for the uh, next segment. We'll be doing the, uh, the detailing. <laughs>